We got more to come here on 2 News. After the break, fifth graders fall in love with fast cars. Why the president of Lamborghini couldn't be happier. The Cool Car Guy is brought to you by Suzuki, way of life. Good morning, I'm Brian Champagne. This week I had a chance to check out a pretty hot looker of a car. Very popular with the kids, and that's important to automakers, and we'll tell you why. If Pontiac says they'll loan you a Solstice, take it. If it's a GXP, then you get a 260 horsepower Ecotec. It's got a lot of jump just, just in third gear. Leather, OnStar, and XM. Top doffing takes more time than a Miata, but looks cooler when it's done. Cargo space, 5.4 cubic feet top up, 2.1 down, larger than most glove boxes. The interior can't fit everyone, and things aren't strategically placed, like you hit the cup holder with your elbow. So who can appreciate such a vehicle? That's such a sweet car. It's really cool. Pretty awesome. It's red. I like red. It's cool. It's sweet. Ten-year-old boys. If children are thinking about your brand, that's a very good one. Especially exotics love the attention of kids for two reasons. These kids, in future, they will be lovers of the brand. If they will earn a lot of money, they surely will buy all Lamborghinis. It's good for the future. Besides selling cars 20 years out, I'd probably yell, we'd yell out, 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 out. <laughs> there's the head turning factor. Kids looking at our cars driving around is important. Little proudness you have because you percept around you that people watch to you and tell, ah, oh, what a car, and who is driving this, this car? That goes for exotic or just look exotic. You want to have your purchase justified and fired. Yeah, why not? I prefer yellow rather than red. Okay, it's the traffic jam before the road gets closed. You, you know riding mowers, you may not know this. You might know Mitsubishi Lancers, but I'm going to show you one you've probably never heard of. It's probably faster than what you drive, but do you know what this is? That car right there? No, I don't, I don't have a clue. Probably a... Uh... Galant, maybe? It's a Mitsubishi Evolution Lancer. It's a sleeper. It's a fast car. Yes, Mitsubishi loaned us their lightning quick, little known Lancer Evolution. Looks pretty ridiculous with that fin on the back. Looks, instead of calling like, you know, shotgun, you call co-pilot. What is that? Mean? The fin is part of a two-stage system for creating downforce. The Evo may look busy, but it's all functional. Aluminum wheels, roof, and suspension all cut weight. Recaro seats hold you in, while Brembo brakes try to throw you out. The stereo's okay, but we didn't even get cruise control. It's all go. We took it to the experts at Cobb Tuning in Salt Lake to see how much go. Christian threw it on the all-wheel drive dynamo. This particular chassis dyno um, really measures what's happening at the wheels, and that's what the effect is while you're on the road. You really only care what's happening at the wheels. 237 horsepower and 237 foot-pounds of torque. That's phenomenal. You could take this out and go against uh, the almighty Porsche or BMW and put some hurt on those guys. So why isn't such a fast car famous like other fast cars? When it was brought to the U.S., there wasn't really a heavy marketing effort put forward. It remains a sleeper for now. Just remember, do not race against this car. And do not race against this yard machine, $839. Now, that's kind of a lot of money to spend. It's like for an in-law. We have the special in-law model right here. Clint is modeling for us. Clint, how many horsepower on this model? That is uh, as many horses as you want, as fast as you can push it, Brian. That's how many horses it is. Sweet. And you know what? It keeps the in-laws in shape. And that's what we really care about, is their All health. Right. <laughs> you are brutal this morning. They brutal. still sell those things, right? <laughs> I love my in-laws. Oh, the question my goodness. is, do they still love you yeah. after this morning? Uh, I might lay low a little bit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> probably smart. Hey, yeah. Brian meant to ask you how much that DeWalt power...